is 5x plus 3y equal, uh, plus 3 equals 0. So 5x plus 3y plus 3 equals 0. This is part A of the question. So the key theory, as it says up here, is that we need to try and rearrange this into the form y equals mx plus c. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 5x from both sides, leaving me 3y plus 3 equals minus 5x. And then I'm going to subtract the 3 from both sides. So that leaves me 3y equals minus 5x minus 3. Now, students that dropped marks in this question tended to then write down that the um, gradient was minus 5, which is not true because for this theory to be correct, we cannot have the 3 in front of the y. So the final step is to divide by 3. So we divide each part of this equation by 3, leaving me y equals minus 5 thirds x minus 1. So the gradient of this point, the value of m, is minus 5 thirds. So therefore, m is minus 5 thirds. For part b, we're looking for a and b intersecting, or, so a, b, sorry, intersecting with a different line. So we have two lines of a similar format, so 5, so this is part b now, so 5x plus 3y plus 3 equals 0, and 3x minus 2y plus 17 equals 0. Now again, what some students did was they tried to rearrange these two equations. I don't think it's needed. So if we just call this one equation 1 and equation 2, all we now need to do is think about finding a way of eliminating one of our two variables. So we might be looking at the x terms and going 15x, or we might be going looking at the y terms and going 6y. Now I'm going to go for the 6y method. So I'm going to need to double the first equation, giving me 10x plus 6y plus 9, oops, sorry, plus 6, doubling it, plus 6 equals 0. And I'm going to be timesing the second equation by 3. So equation 2 gets multiplied by 3. So I've got 9x minus 6y, and then 3 times 17. And this caused some students some issues as well. But if you need to, you can go away and have a look at what the best way is to do this would be, I would do 3 times 10 plus 3 times 7. So 21 plus 30 is 51. And that still equals 0. And now because we've got a plus and a minus here, we are going to add the two equations together. So adding these two equations together leaves me 19x, the y's are going to cancel each other out, plus 57 equals 0. And rearrange this, 19x equals minus 57, and x equals, and then in this case, it's minus 3. Because 19 times 3 is 57. So at this point, I've got my x value. I now need my corresponding y value, so I'm going to sub in my x value into one of my two equations. So subbing x into, let's say, equation 2. I've got three lots of minus three, minus two y, plus 17 equals zero. So minus nine, minus two y, plus 17 equals zero. So 17 minus um, my nine there, I'm gonna have minus two y plus eight equals zero, minus two y equals minus eight, so y equals positive 4. Now for part C of this equation, I've just removed all the working, so I've got me more space. The theory as I've written it over there says that if a point on, lies on a line, then substituting the x and y values into that point, into of that point into the equation of the line will result in a balanced equation. So we've got our x value is going to be 2k plus 3, and our y value is 4 minus 3k. So we are saying this lies on the line AB. So AB is the line 5 lots of x plus 3 lots of y plus 3 equals 0. So we're going to substitute the x and the y values in. So we've got 5 lots of 2k plus 3, that's the x value, plus 3 lots of 4 minus 3k, that's the y value. And when I add 3 to that, I get 0. 
So this is an exercise in algebra. It's only worth two marks. So it's just checking that we can expand an, um, a bracket and sort out our common terms and things like that. So I've expanded my brackets. So looking at my k values, I've got 10k minus 9k. So I've got k and then I've got fi um, 15 plus 12 plus 3 and that all equals 0. So plus 30 equals 0. So k is minus 30. And that's where we leave it for that question.